Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Review for today, Friday the 29th of July 2022. I'm Ken Kudoni. Open Heavens is authored by Adadin the Lord Pastor E.A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Open Heavens is a guide to a close fellowship with God. Let us pray. Father, we want to say thank you for another opportunity to learn at your feet. Thank you for always bringing your word to us. Thank you for an opportunity to grow in you. We say, blessed be your name, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that you will teach us yourself today in the mighty name of Jesus. You will teach us how to pray. You give us greater understanding of your word in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our topic for today is until your joy be full, part one. Until your joy be full, part one. And our memory verse for today's topic is taken from the book of Luke 18 verse 1. And he spoke a parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not to fail. And he spoke a parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Luke 18 verse 1. Our Bible reading is taken from the same book of Luke. 18 verse 1 to 8 and he spoke a parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint saying there was a city a judge which feared not god neither regarded man and there was a widow in that city and she came unto him saying avenge me of my adversaries and he would not for a while but afterward he said within himself though i fear not god nor regard man Yet, because this widow troubled me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she weary me. And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge said. And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he be along with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? May the Lord bless the reading of his words in our hearts, in Jesus' name. Amen. The message, the wicked judge never respected anyone. He never deferred to anyone. However, as this poor widow troubled him relentlessly with her cry for justice, we see that the judge who was wicked had to respond to her so that she could let him rest. Many children of God give up on their prayers before God responds to them. If that woman had stopped knocking just at the point at which the judge was deciding to grant her request, she would not have had justice. Many Christians were only one more prayer away when they gave up the lost and lost their miracle. Sometimes you pray once and God will answer immediately, but at other times, you need to keep pressing in the spirit for your answer to come. If you stop pressing at some point, the answer may not come. That is why the concluding part of John 16 verse 24 says, Ask and ye shall receive that your joy may be full. I know that sometimes God wants, to keep, wants you to keep praying. Not because he doesn't want to answer, but because there is something he wants to perfect in you. And that thing can only be completed when you press deeper into the Spirit. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience, let patience have her perfect work, that he, ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. James 1, 3-4 I can tell you for sure, if God had answered all my prayers the very first time I asked, I would not be as deeply involved with him as I am today. Prayer is more a blessing for us than it is for God. You must always remember that prayer does not change who God is. Prayer changes you. The more you pray and commit to prayer, the more strengthened you become as a Christian. There may be things you want God to do for you, even if those things are yet to come. Don't ever give up praying. God is not reluctant to give you what you asked for, but with your constant prayer in faith, 
you are building a cloud of blessings that will soon break out upon you. Until that cloud breaks, don't stop praying. Until your joy is full, don't stop knocking on heaven's door. Keep pressing in the spirit until your answer comes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The topic once more is until your joy be full. So today we are adding the Lord through the help of the Holy Spirit is encouraging us to keep praying. Like the memory verse says that men ought to always pray and not to faint. That we should pray without season. We should pray until our joy is full. We should pray until we receive answers to that our prayer and our joy be full. If we look at the Bible verse we read today, it gave the story of a poor widow who, who prayed until her joy was full. She was, you know, like her daddy had coined it here, that she troubled that judge relentlessly. She troubled him persistently, non-stop. So it did not matter what people had told her about the judge. She didn't even care about the body language of the judge. She didn't care about the history of the judge. But yet, she troubled him. What she wanted was what she kept on telling the judge. It got to a point that so that the judge could have a rest, he just had to answer him, her, her. This is a wicked judge. How much more our God who is in heaven, like he said in what we read, that if that wicked judge could do that, shall not God avenge his own elect when we cry day and night unto him, though he be along with them. So when we pray, when we do not relent, and we are also like that woman, he would definitely answer us because we are his elect. We are the children of God. So we are encouraged that we should be like that woman. Like I said earlier, she didn't care about the history, you know. She didn't care about what people had told her. The word of, there's a popular song that says that we are not moved by what we, what we hear. We are not moved by what people say. We are only moved by the word of God. You know, in the people that will need to pray without fainting, because what brings about faint? Some, is it going to unbelief what somebody has said to you? Imagine you have committed, you have decided that you want to be committed to praying to God concerning a particular thing. But adventure, it is your business, you know, that you think is, you know, it is shaking. And all of a sudden you have started, you were praying and praying. All of a sudden you now hear another news that, oh, the other part of your business is having an, you know, that could discourage you from even praying. When I'm praying, it's like something else. But it is, it could be, you know, a plan of the devil a distraction from the devil and that is what happens to a lot of people and that is why they give up they just stop knocking you know and like Adadi has said that imagine if that woman stopped when that judge was deciding to whether to grant her a request or not if she had stopped that would have been the end and she wouldn't have received a miracle god knows how many people who were at the edge you know of, of receiving their miracle and they gave up because they were tired or they were they were being moved by what they are seeing but eventually you are trusting god for your health and the doctor is giving you another report you know that is negating what you're having faith for and you are giving up and like ah, it's like the more i'm praying and that is what the devil will want to tell you the more you pray somebody said something that there was a particular day he prayed fervently so much and lo and behold, that same day, he had a dream. And in the dream, he was being troubled. It was as if he fought all through the night, like they were beating him. What was the devil trying to do? To discourage him from praying. And he said, he now decided that maybe what he would do was that he was not going to pray again. Meanwhile, when he prayed so much, he sang, he thought, ah, when I have a dream today, it's going to be a, a dream of victory. But the devil brought a contrary. But thank God, for God in his life. He didn't stop. He kept on at it. He kept on praying until he received his miracle. I pray that the grace to, to pray always without fainting, regardless of what we see, regardless of what we hear, regardless of what our body, our system, our forces, you know, our senses are is telling us, that the Lord will give us the grace to continually pray until our joy remains full in the name of of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We're told that many Christians were only, like I said, were only one more prayer 
away and they gave up and they lost their miracle. You need to keep pressing in, in the spirit for your answer to come. You need to keep pressing. So no matter how long it is that you have been praying, no matter how long it looks, you should ask. The word of God says we should ask and we will receive. That is the confidence that we should have. We should have faith in knowing that as we are asking, we will definitely receive our answers to our the answer to our prayers and our joy will be filled in the name of Jesus Christ. We are told that God wants us to keep praying. Sometimes it, it is not too difficult for him to just hear our prayer. You know, once we pray, and sometimes we also experience it, even before we are praying. In fact, sometimes the thought of your heart, you're already seeing results to it. You know, it happens like that. But then God wants you and I to keep praying to him. You know, it's not that he cannot answer us. But because in the place of prayer, in the place of waiting on him and fellowshipping and praying unto him, what happens? We get deeper in the spirit. Like the book of James 1 verse 3 to 4 says, Knowing this, that, try, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. You know, as you develop yourself in prayer, you know, when, when you are, when, you, you, what do you find that? You find that, that you grow in the spirit. You, you, maybe you will develop how to even hear from God. You know, you are going through some issues and you give in to prayer. In that, you develop other things that you did not believe you have. Imagine somebody who lost his business or her business and because that person was low. And, it, you know, that low state, what happened? It could help you to develop some other talent that you never knew that you had. In saying, how do I come out of this thing? How do I bounce back? You start seeing that you even had more talent. By the time you come back, you, if you really develop yourself, you find that, that you see a lot of people who, who are multi-billionaires. They will tell you they failed. It was even during their failure that way. They were able to learn, discover themselves more. So when we also give into prayer, you know, we, we develop our deep, we develop ourselves, we become deeper in the spirit. We develop the fruit of the spirit, keep developing and growing in us. We get to, to understand God better. We learn to trust him. We learn to hear from him. We learn patience. You know, we, le- we begin to grow. We, we learn to be patient on him, to wait on him. And by the time you, the result comes, you are no longer the same again. By the time the result, you you before that result, and you now, when you wait spiritually, you have grown. You are even thanking God for that problem because that helped you to grow. That is also how that this is exactly how God wants us to become. So that is why we, it's also very important. In fact, praying unto God, it is to our own good, like our daddy has said. Now, whenever we pray to God, it doesn't change God, but it changes us. It transforms us. It renews our mind. It helps us to grow even spiritually. I pray in the name of Jesus that as you and I get more and more committed to prayer, the Lord will empower us. He will help us to grow in Him in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Like our daddy said, he said, imagine if God had answered his prayer every time he prayed. Right now, he wouldn't have developed as much as he has. And just the same way for you and I. Maybe some people, it is in the course of this praying, they get to understand that they should be more committed, maybe become workers in the vineyard of God. And by the time they receive the miracle, you know, they are never the same again. What they have learned has become part of them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So when you commit to prayer, the more strengthened you become as a Christian, the more you receive strength to pray more. You receive strength to stand firm. So you can't be swayed by the devil. The more you receive strength to stand against the vows of the kingdom of darkness, the more you receive strength to resist the devil and it will fail. The more you receive strength to overcome. The strength that you need, the Lord will give unto you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. There may be things you want from God, you know, and they are, and they are yet to come. We are told today, don't give up. Just keep praying. For adventure, you are just one more prayer. To that answer don't allow whatever you see that is distracting you or discouraging you for prayer that is almost looking as if the more i pray the more the problem comes it is just it, you should know that what that means is that the solution is at hand the answer it is at, as, uh, is at hand but it is the devil trying to distract you the more you should pray pray 
because knowing fully well that we will receive answer to our prayers and our, our joy will be full in the name of Jesus. You should pray constantly in faith. And as we pray in faith, what do we do? We are building our cloud of blessings, you know, and when, when they are full, they will break forth. Praise the Lord. And when the cloud breaks, you can be rest assured. The word of God says when the cloud is full of rain, what happens? It will surely empty itself. So pray until that your cloud will be full of the blessing that God has in store for you. And when it breaks and when it is full, it will empty itself. And the Lord will shower his rain, his rain of blessings upon you in the name of Jesus. So we are being encouraged that we should pray until our joy is full. We should keep knocking at the door. We should keep pressing in the spirit until we receive answers to our prayers. Because we have been promised, according to John 16 verse 24, the later part, that we should ask and we will receive that our joy may be full. May your joy and my joy be full as we ask and receive answers to our prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. The action point. What are those things you have stopped praying for? Now, simply because the answer didn't come, list them out now and begin to include them in your daily prayers again. Or simply because you are feeling that the opposite is happening to your life. Or you can almost see that I'm not sure this there can be answer to this. We serve a powerful God. We serve a God that there is nothing difficult for him to do. We serve a creative God. That is to say, if you can wrap your brain around the fact that God can do it, you should know that he can create it. And the Lord will answer you, whether creatively or taking action or in any way, he will give speedy answer to my prayer and to your prayer and our joy will be full in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for being part of the review for today. God bless you. Amen.